Yo, 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 Yaga, yo, yo, yo. What you man saying? I hope you man are doing good. I hope you man are doing great. I hope you man are doing lovely. You know what I'm saying? But now, nah, today we're finna talk about trust. Trust is an interesting one. I think trust is one of those things that can be difficult. I think um, the word trust is always an interesting one because some people have got even misconstrued or they've got a worldly perception of trust. And the worldly perception of trust a lot of times trust no one, etc., etc. And so out of a hurt place. The reality is all out of a hurt place. Trust is so important, especially when I think about even uh, in any type of relationship. But also I think about personally my relationship with God. Trust is so important because without a lot, without trust, you can't coincide together. You see where I'm coming from? That's why trust is so important. And a lot of times trust is the most difficult thing because that's the biggest challenge we have. And how do we know? How do I even know that? A lot of times when you're walking, the minute you, you forget who you're coinciding with, you start to lose trust. And the minute you start to lose trust, you start to do things that are out of the boundaries, or out of the circle, um that you and the person that you're coincided, cons- coinciding with have agreed to. A lot of the times, the minute you start to lose trust, even though the person you're coinciding with has continually said you and re- told you and repeatedly reminded you that this is what is going to happen, this is what I'm going to do, this is how it's going to be, that I've got plans for you, plans for good and not for evil, plans to give you hope in the future. A lot of the times, we, the minute we forget, we start to sin, we start to do things out of the boundaries and out of the circle of the agreement that we have with the person we're coinciding with. And that can be in any type of relationship, family, friends, um, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend relationship, husband and wife relationship, et cetera, et cetera. And trust is so profound and so important. And a lot of times we we don't even understand how important trust is. Because trust normally reminds us that there is a reason to go about or walk or walk in a certain way. A lot of times, the minute we forget trust or we start to lose trust, we forget the reason why we walk in a certain way, the reason why we um, morally go about it this way, the reason why we don't morally go about it that way, the reason why we don't approach stuff like this, the reason why we don't approach stuff like that. The minute we forget trust, that's the minute stuff starts to fade and stuff starts to wither and stuff starts to die and stuff starts to be killed, stolen and destroyed. That's why trust is so important. And a lot of times, people, the enemy normally attacks your trust Example, the person you're coinciding with has told you that this is what I've called you to do and this is what I've called you to walk in or walk through. The minute the enemy comes in, what he's coming is with doubt, coming with people's opinions about stuff that aren't opinions coming from their close relationship with God. It's coming from stuff that they did where they had, there was no father in it or there was no person that they coincided with when it came to trust and kept in a certain boundary space or boundary limit. A lot of times that's not the case. Then I try to say doubt and unbelief based on the fact of they know this person who did this and this person did this and it didn't work for them. Or this happens or because of life, try to use life as a thing or people try to use life to give it an excuse or make it the argument make more sense or try to make you agree more to what they're saying. And a lot, the reality is not the truth. You have to remind yourself of who you're coinciding with. The key part is who you coincide with and the boundaries and the moral standpoint of who you coincide with. And what circles and what comes around you lot. The minute you start to um, take in the wrong um, outer layer, that's when the issues start. Because people start to speak down on what vision that has been given to you, that you know you've written down, that you know is going to happen. And they try to give you excuses and tell you this and tell you that. But if it doesn't come from the person or the people, or you can't see the person you're coinciding with in what the person's saying, then it's not it. You shouldn't be listening to it. You shouldn't be taking it in. Because your ear gates are very important, same as your eye gates. They both coincide with each other when it comes to taking in information. So yeah, there we go.